Greetings, and today I have a rather different video for you guys. So this is the Great Dandelion Show, and this is sort of like the funny moments collection for Gwent. Um, I've been watching this guy for a while, and honestly, his edits are so funny, and the clips that he gets that he puts into a montage are also really funny. I just love watching this guy. It is just great. Um, I don't know. Like This is my first time doing this, uh, doing a reaction video for this. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it up or maybe if I'm just going to you know, make this just a one and done thing. I think it really depends on the reaction it gets. Like if <laughs> if the channel tells me like stop doing more of these and I'll obviously stop doing it. Uh, but I, I just thought I'd give it a shot um, just to sort of do a reaction video on it, see what you guys think of it. Um, if you guys like it, then I will definitely do more of these. Uh, so this episode is the latest one that he posted. Uh, this was in December 31st of 2019. So he's yet to post something in 2020, uh, of course. But when he does, I will definitely be watching it. Um, so without further ado, let's get started. Observe a master in action. I love Dandelion. He's such a funny guy. In his edits, I guess what I'm saying, his edits are so funny. I love it. So I think this is uh I definitely spawn I think it's a sponsored definitely sponsored. Um, I think this is, looks like a games library almost like Steam in a way, or maybe it's more like a database of like where you can find games. I'm not quite sure, but I it's still I really like the edits already. He even makes um, sponsors look really like sponsors uh, like sponsored segments look really good too. I haven't seen this one yet, so. <laughs> I'm sort of reacting to it just for the first time. Some of you may have already seen it, so... Let me know what your guys' thoughts are on some of these plays, of course. Like, these are just really amazing plays. Like, that Geralt... Like, when you take out a whole role like that with Igni, it's just crazy. And the music, the music selection is also really nice. I like the music selection, too. I don't know, I just love everything about this. You know, let me actually, uh... Make myself smaller. Oh, that hurt. Lambert hurts, man. Lambert is like the the bane of all swarm decks. Oh, desert spot, desert treasure. <laughs> oh, that guy, his reaction's so funny too. Oh, getting your masquerade ball back. Oh, that's such a that's gonna be such a pain to work with. I don't know what it's saying, obviously, so we'll, we'll just like to see the reaction. Wow! <laughs> you have like, look at all these options. I mean, the 8, 9, or 12, I guess. Like, I guess I think either or would have been good, but high rolling that 12 is just absolutely insane. If he had gotten the 1, yeah, that'd be a. <laughs> but high rolling it? Man, that's crazy. I mean, there is some luck involved in this game, it's not all skill, there is some luck. <laughs> There is some RNG Jesus here. Wait, I actually can do that. Just tailbot. Okay. Yeah. Change of plans. But we have to go fast. Oh god, we have to. Oh no, we're gonna rope out. If, if we rope out, it wasn't worth it. Okay, bribery, take the wheel. Take the wheel. Bribery is like. Oh, never mind. I was gonna. I was about to say about how how powerful bribery is. I'm like, I guess not in this case. I think he did. He just run out of time before he ma he managed to make a decision. I don't think he did that voluntarily. That'd be crazy if he did. <laughs> oh, you rolled Morkbar. Now this is where I'm gonna say where bribery can get pretty powerful, where you manage to use one of your opponent's weapon against them. That was crazy. Only card that would win the game for him. Yeah, that, that was actually Only pretty crazy. Card. I feel you, man. I feel you. I know what it's like to get hit with a Morkbar pretty hard. Alright, another swarm. Oh, is this where he just swarms up all of his uh, rats? Ends with Morvid, yeah. Beast Swarm. Beast Swarm can get pretty powerful, especially if you get them all loose. That's what I'm saying, Lambert's like the the bane of all swarm decks. Oh, 
Oh, that's his last card. Oh, he played that. Wait. Did he try to like bait him to? Yeah, uh, yeah. He definitely misplayed the Great Oak there. I think he realized that, but he still won. So, man, swim swim stacks are so good. Like they're crazy. Like the way he makes them, he's like a card game expert. Oh. Oh yikes! <laughs> yeah, just press the forfeit there. Oh, that that was that's what I'm saying, man. He's crazy. I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's pretty bad. Oh jeez. Ah, that's the desert treasure for you. I I think I find. Oh, move on. Lady. So I'm saying his edits so are awesome. Hard. So yeah, it's like a lot of those create cards can definitely make for some pretty funny moments I've noticed. It's always the random uh, aspect of it, like where it's just you don't know what cards you're gonna get. I think that's where most of these most of the funny moments do come from. And like when you high roll into something that you need to win the game, it's just absolutely crazy. Uh, so that was sort of my reaction to the most recent episode of the Great Dandelion Show. Of course, I will leave a link to the original video and the channel in the description below so you guys can check out all of his other episodes. And of course, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment on anything that you guys liked about that video. It was just absolutely crazy. And of course, subscribe for more content. And other than that, Zenzo signing out. Catch you guys in the next one.